there are so many beautiful places around the world and this is one of my favorites, the Barramundal Beach of Sydney in Australia. In clinic, for over a decade, I used stories and metaphors as a way of getting clients to connect to something in a different way. Through our civilization, we've used stories for hundreds of thousands of years. And good stories often have metaphoric elements within them. When a metaphor is delivered in a correct way, it allows the listeners to look at everyday things in a completely different way. It changes the memory that they have of the events they have gone through. Metaphors can be a powerful way of connecting with the clients and getting the clients to look at what they are going through through a different set of eyes. I use metaphors to connect with my clients. The metaphors and acupressure is about learning how to use metaphors and the course includes 11 metaphoric stories and combines them with the traditional Chinese medicine acupuncture points. The combination of these two forces has amazing results. People or clients love the hearing of metaphors because it allows them to connect to something within them but as we hold acupuncture points that at the same time work on the underlying factors, the underlying psychology that they're trying to dissolve, it has a profound effect. The metaphors that I have chosen to be within this course all contain themes. And these are themes that everybody can relate to. These are themes that as a society we often struggle with. Let's take for example the story of the Mustang, a horse, a wild horse that gets caught by humans, put into an enclosure and he gets used to his surroundings. When there is a chance for him to get out, he laughs it off and does not take that chance. Why? He has lost all hope. We line this up with liver 14. In Chinese medicine, liver 14 is called the gate of hope. It is a point that gives us that energy, that hope, so we can get over things that we need to get over. Let's take another story for example. The story of the bird in the nest. A young bird, inquisitive, looking at the world and it falls out of the nest. Luckily, someone places it back into the nest but then from then on, it never looks out of the world again. It wants to stay inside the nest. This is sort of all about fear. Fear of failure. Fear of not trying again. A lot of the metaphors that I've chosen look at these themes. Fear, not being able to let go, not being able to connect within, lost of hope. We can use these stories in clinic in combination with the acupuncture points to dissolve these patterns. Overall, it is a beautiful addition to anyone that has trained and uses the chakra system in their work. We also look at a review of chakra system, including the seven major chakras, the transpersonal chakra, and the earth star. We look at the four elements which hold the earth star into the crystalline structure of this earth, and from a psychological level, what those elements are about, and what we might need to do in our lives to balance these elements. Using metaphors that contain these themes that everybody can relate to, and combining them with the chakra system, with the acupuncture points, and also activation of the muscles and the sinews is invaluable for clinic. I use this in clinic almost all the time. I love using this work with everyone, especially kids. There are many kids that are, find it difficult to uh, connect or explain to you what they're going through, but when you take them on this journey of a metaphor, they are more than happy to talk about the poor bird or the poor horse or the elements within the metaphor not really knowing that they are telling you about what they are going through. So the use of metaphors is a beautiful way of dissolving stress and helping our clients to get over things that they are they're finding difficult to let go. I find this work so effective in my clinic. I hope you can see the value of doing this kind of work in your clinic and hopefully I'll see you soon.